I've got two little sort of buttock grooves there. There we are. They seem to fit. A little hole down here for my feet. And, uh, oh yeah, that's feeling better. It's just that I need support for my neck and my head, I think, because it'd be quite nice, to, at least if I had my head forward like this, I'd have a bit of a view, you know. Whereas I'm just looking at the sky like this, it'd be a bit dull on a cloudy night, wouldn't it? Not a lot to think about. So if I could get my head up like this, then I suppose I could see the spiders and the bush rats coming. If you clean away under your bum cheeks and things like that, you will find that the support is much better. Um, you can give yourself maximum support in it. Graham, I think you'll find that you can't say bum cheeks on Channel 4. <laughs> I'm sure Graham realised that my flippancy was just a cover for deep-rooted terror. A short time later, my sense of humour went noticeably missing when I was bitten on the throat by a giant tick. The side effects can range from mild pain to deep coma. Help was at hand in the form of Stuart, a local stills photographer who himself has a potentially fatal allergy to tick bites. Where do they come? Are they just in the air? They're air? in the grass. I was standing They'll come on the dog. The dog's got one right there, I can see. I'll give you some rescue remedy. This is good, too. Interesting, though, that as we're preparing to do this, first of all, the big spider appears, and then as I'm trying to eat a humble bit of dinner before getting into the grave, I get bitten on the throat. So what is it that you're holding in? What is it that you're not expressing? What now? Mm. It's your throat. <laughs> it's a living symbol. Well, I've, ne I've never been accused of not talking enough, that has to be said. I don't know, I don't know what I'm holding in. A growing irritation with Graham, perhaps. Just getting some layers on before I go into the ground. Apparently it can be quite cold in there. Cold as the grave, ha! <laughs> okay, well, it's that time of the day where it's time to go in. And beforehand I feel it's a good idea to let go of all limiting thoughts. Don't fight that which is your primary culture, that which supports you. If you allow it to love you, it will nurture you and it will speak to you of, of your very foundations. This is basically a living resurrection. If either of you have any specific prayers that you would like to make, now would be the, a time to make them. Time to make the journey, gentlemen. Yep. When I saw that John was being buried sitting up, with head and shoulders apparently above ground level, I began to fear that I'd taken on a less comfortable and more stupid option. I was beginning to feel jealous of John. He also had a much better costume. As the daylight faded, there was suddenly a ferocious cacophony of insects as if this were what they'd been waiting for all day, the cover of darkness. It's a little bit like the Shroud of Turin, really. Cross between that and the sack race at convent school. But this wasn't a joke anymore. I found myself thinking of the shiny black spider's bulbous sack of poison and of death, in precisely that order. I never knew the earth smelled so strong. Are you ready to go down? Mm -hmm. Let's just begin by filling in over your feet first. As the sun goes down, just allow your energies to descend with it into the earth 
allow yourself to climb into that matter and look back on yourself from it. Suck in your earth body. You are the earth. Allow yourself to diffuse into all the different elements outside of yourself. I don't know why, but I hadn't expected the soil to be so heavy. I also hadn't fully thought through the fact that with my arms completely trapped, I had no way of fending off the slime-secreting, venom-encrusted, razor-toothed wildlife of the night. Sensing my discomfort, Graham tried to help, but only conjured up visions of the worst scenario yet. And I've got some salt, which will ensure that no leeches cross over and gobble you during the night. What about the spiders? How are they on salt? Um, I would imagine that they wouldn't be too keen either, really. Bush rats? I think I would consider that a blessing if I was visited by one of them during the night. How's that? That's fine. And you're beautiful. How do you reason with a man who thinks a rat in the night is a blessing? One thing I've always really kicked myself for. Getting stuck in a strange place and not having brought anything to read. You don't feel as though perhaps there's not heaps to read coming in all over your body right now? Not strong on irony, your average outback hippie shaman. But why should he worry? I'm the one in the hole. Two hours had passed since Graham had buried me. He was now 60 or 70 yards away, behind me, where I couldn't see him, by the fire. For me, there was just the dark. Strange thing is, at the moment, I... I, uh, I don't feel any of the kind of... insect snake panic, nor the... oh my god, I'm buried alive panic that I was expecting. All I feel is... An, Extremely uncomfortable right knee and a pair of calves. I think the benefit of hindsight, I would bury myself in another position. Perhaps I should have buried myself sitting up like John did. John, how are you? Well, and you? I'm okay. Are you comfortable? Very. Already feel like I've gone through a few little berries. But I suppose there's a there's a whole tradition of kind of inflicting pain in well in major religions as well as in um, in uh, whatever this is, and there's all that you know there's flagellation and self punishment and people making pilgrimages up mountains with you know, bare feet and stuff. But I mean I've never I've never bought in on that one. I have to say, um, though I was happy to give this a crack. But once it gets to your spine hurting, I kind of think we start to get into a dangerous area. I'd expected psychological terror in here. And what I'm getting instead is physical pain, which wasn't... Maybe I'm naive, but it's not what I bargained for. <sighs> ah! It's scaring me, this, uh, losing all sensation in my left foot. I... It is scary. It was the right one at the beginning, but that's, I mean, the right one's just uncomfortable. It's this sort of like, I'm getting sort of, it's like waves, it's, it's pins and needles followed by total lack of feeling in the left leg. So it's throwing you into your, in, into your right side, which is your male side, which is about determination in your life. <sighs> I have very bad spine pain here. Do you hear what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. <laughs> 